again, without confirming the validity of the documents, this is information that has no business in the public domain. It has no business, if you don't mind me saying, uh, on the pages of, uh, of uh, front pages of, of newspapers or on, on television. It is not intended for public uh, consumption, and, and it should not be out there. intelligence leak in decades. Dramatic video showing the FBI arresting 21-year-old National Guardsman Jack Teixeira. He is accused of stealing our nation's most sensitive secrets, including highly classified documents on the war in Ukraine and details about our allies and enemies. And it was all apparently to impress a bunch of his teenage friends in a video game chat room. It felt like I was on top of Mount Everest. It felt like I was above everyone else to some degree, and that um, I, I, would, I would be able to brag to some people that I knew stuff that they didn't. He is not interested in helping any foreign agencies with their attack on the U.S. or other countries. He was a, he was a young, charismatic man who loved nature, God, and bottom line, if they want these to be private, it's because they have something to hide. How did this happen, and isn't this a massive security breach? Uh, again, we need to allow the investigation to run its course. We'll, of course, know more uh, when that is completed, so I'd, I'd refer you to, to DOJ on that. You put into context the damage that has been done by this leak? Again, right now, we're continuing to assess the scope and the impact, um, and, and so that's work that will be ongoing. I'm not concerned about the leakages, and I'm concerned that it happened. But there's nothing contemporaneous that I'm aware of that is of great consequence. A 21 year old IT worker in a game chat room sharing secrets. Uh, I, by the way, and I'm not gonna, I, I should never get a security clearance. I think it's pretty clear. I have a big mouth, uh, I say everything. Don't ever confide in me on anything. I will tell everybody. I'm careless. This is why I don't want to. I, 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 somebody found my checkbook on the street yesterday in front of my house, just sitting there. That, that, only an idiot would do that. See, I, I, I'm, I, I'm an expert at carelessness. We have to have higher standards here. If a 21 year old IT worker can get a security clearance, anybody can, including somebody unstable and dangerous like me. Now, but I, I, I do, I want to say, I used to get upset about intel leaks because it puts lives at risk, at risk, but I don't trust any information that we're getting anymore from our government or even from Ukraine or Russia. I mean, you know, what if a, in that leaking material was actual truth, right? I mean, I, we seem to remember, you know, Obama saying that we were winning the Afghan war and that the Taliban were being destroyed. And that's the reason why we draw down the troops. And then of course we find out that's all BS. Uh, they write that a, quote, highly credible whistleblower says the Justice Department and FBI have a form that, quote, describes an alleged criminal scheme involving then-President Biden and a former national relating to the exchange of money for policy decisions. It's been alleged that the document includes a precise description of how the alleged criminal scheme was employed as well as its purpose. Now, Comer and Grassley provide no information on the identity of the whistleblower, what specifically they're alleging. In short, it's a subpoena for a document that an unidentified whistleblower says exists and shows illegal activity. It is unclear yet how the Justice Department will respond. We have reached out, John. Uh, all right, so we don't know what this scheme is, only that it's believed that the DOJ and the FBI have information about this scheme. Exactly. What these two Republicans are alleging is that there is a document that exists and they've gotten that information, they say, from a whistleblower, an unidentified whistleblower, and that the document exists within the Department of Justice and the FBI showing an illegal scheme uh, allegedly involving the vice president and that they are requesting that information now officially with a subpoena from the FBI and Justice Department. But uh, these Republicans have not seen that document. Uh, and they have just sent the subpoena request because a whistleblower told them it exists within the FBI. That's where we are right now with this.